back to UCLA because they they go out and hire um, Deshaun Foster, their one-time All-American in 20, uh, 2001, NFL running back. He's from Orange County, extremely popular player. He'd spent about 10 years as an assistant there and just left to become the Raiders running back coach. Obviously, bizarro time to try to hire a coach. It looked like they couldn't quite get an active head coach. Foster should keep the roster together for the time being. Although I don't know how you transfer right now anyway. I think the late window will be a big thing. But the players like him. He's a young guy. Knows LA. Perhaps he brings more recruiting energy, which I think you actually have to happen. Um, what's possible? Here's the thing with coaching hires. I got no idea. No one has a When Chip Kelly went to UCLA, if we had had this podcast, whatever that was, I would have said, UCLA, man, they're going to be an absolute, like, they're going to make the playoffs. They're going to, I don't know if we had a playoff then, but whatever. Uh, Yeah, we had a playoff then. (laughs) They're going to make the playoffs. They're, like, they're going to be great. Like, how would this not work? Didn't really work. So I can sit there and go, you just hired a running back coach who's never run anything? Probably not a good A. Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Um, so thoughts on Deshaun Foster and thoughts on what can UCLA be? I think we kind of touched on it. We still think there's a lot there, but uh, anything on that? Pat, I'll start with you. Yeah, I mean, Foster, giant TBD, you know, may turn out great, may turn out terrible, maybe somewhere in between. We don't know. Uh, obviously, extremely enthusiastic reaction from the team when he was announced and introduced. So that's always a good start. Uh, what that translates into. We'll see. Uh, He does have, certainly in the UCLA community and probably in SoCal, name recognition, some star power. He's not Deion Sanders in terms of star power, but he was a very good NFL player and a great UCLA player. Uh, I think, you know, you're going to need a lot of personality and charisma. You've got to try to win back in recruiting that area, but you need the infrastructure to go along with it. You do need the NIL commitment. You need a staff that's going to help you Go out and get people. You need, you know, a, a an enthusiasm that goes beyond just the the head coach's office and what does actually uh, go to probably to the fan base. And are you going to show up and turn this into an atmosphere that kids want to play in? So I don't know. I have no idea whether it's going to work. But you know, a, in an era where you you go get your X and O guys and you need a head coach to maybe be the galvanizer. Uh, and the recruiting hub, we'll see if he can uh, if he can pull that up. Well, I think Dan's question is a really good one. Like, what, um, how, what, what should be the expectations at, at UCLA? Like, how good is the UCLA job? How good can the program be? You know, if you look back the last twenty five years, UCLA has finished in the top twenty five at the end of the season three times in in roughly 25, 24 years. So that probably gives you a little bit of an indication, you know, of of that job and how difficult it can be. And it's about to get more difficult, as we just talked about, right? The the Big Ten and the schedule. And, And let's look beyond NIL, just athletic budget situation at UCLA. You know, one of the reasons they used for moving to the Big Ten was that they were in the hole athletically, but, you know, with budgets financially. Okay, well, the move to the Big Ten is certainly going to cost more travel. It's probably going to cost more when you look at investment and staffing, recruiting budgets in general. And then guess what? Uh, You are going to have to pay Cal five i think it's five to ten million i don't know that they've set a number yet a year back to cal um forgot about that one for for i I did too i love that the uc uh, system tax the the, the uc yeah the uc system board the board made that ruling i think last year and i i i think they were supposed to set an exact amount i don't know what they have yet but it was going to be between five and ten million uh so by the end of it, I don't know that moving to the Big Ten uh, really uh, 
is going to generate a whole lot more revenue, uh, a, whole lot, a whole lot more profit, I guess I should say, because it's it is going to generate more revenue. But but you're going to have to spend more. Um, mm-hmm. This is a tough job, and and I think that uh, it's getting a lot tougher. It's one of the reasons Chip Kelly probably did leave. You know, he he probably saw the writing on the wall of how how difficult this job is going to be, and that that he was on a, a short lease. So there's uh this is i don't know what to compare it to when you look at teams in other leagues it's not a obviously it's not like a vanderbilt or anything but it it probably is like a as crazy as this is to say it probably is like an arkansas or mississippi state you know if you're if you're at at that level in the big 10 you know it's kind of the the uh the sec equivalent i mean if you made me Make a prediction on how UCLA will do in the Big Ten in football. I think they're just—it's going to be a disaster. I think it's—they're going to get crushed. 